the right hand side of your screen. Not sure what that is, but uh, you can see on, on that roadway there are no issues. Plenty of space for drivers to travel out on the posted speeds. Keep in mind some of the secondary streets might still be a little bit slick, so you might have some slick spots as you are traveling out the door, but the interstate looks clear there this morning. If you're traveling from Sigurd West Good Hope Road, that's a 14 minute drive. Gort Case Corners to American Family Field, you're looking at 11 minutes out of 994 on the eastbound side and West Good Hope Road to the Zoo Interchange. That is an eight minute commute. All right, topping the news this morning with millions of travelers across the country trying to head to their post holiday destinations. If severe weather left many people scrambling for new flights. One airline's cancellations made an already stressful day even worse. Yeah, Elaine Rojas Castillo joins us live from Mitchell International Airport with the latest details. Good morning, Elaine. Good morning, Tom and Adriana. So far, we're seeing about 11 cancellations on Southwest flights here at Mitchell, and that's on top of the more than 2,000 that have happened over the last 24 hours, which flight tracking website FlightAware says is more than 60% of Southwest's total flights for the day. Southwest says that it's experiencing these disruptions due to the lingering effects of the winter storm. In a statement released on Monday, the airline apologized and say that they will work to make things right for those that they've let down, including their employees. Local school teachers Danny and Sarah Fay told us that they were trying to make it to Disney World for their honeymoon, but couldn't get through to anyone at the airline to try to fix their plans. We tried to call earlier. Um, the calls just it said they're experiencing long wait lines, so we never got to speak to anyone or it would kind of hang just up. It would be a dial tone for the most part, and then if we even got somebody to kind of respond, it would just hang up on us. Southwest says that those travelers that did experience cancellations like the phase can either request a full refund or get a travel credit, which doesn't expire. Reporting live at Mitchell Airport, Elaine Rojas Castillo. TMJ4 News. Yeah, a lot of people just stuck in airports across the country this morning, just wondering how they're going to get home. They're going to be spending New Year's wherever they spent Christmas, it's likely. Yeah. All right, Elaine, thank you.